Hello, hello dear Libra, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. This is a love reading for Valentine's Day, 14th of February 2020, and not only just for Valentine's, but around the time of Valentine's Day. Okay, just looking into your love life. Let's see what is showing up. It's just a random reading, and I hope that I can give you a little bit of clarity, hopefully. Okay, dear Libra, so let's see, what are you dealing with around Valentine's Day? And just keep in mind that we are having a Mercury retrograde on the 16th, so communication can be a little bit uh, up and down. Also, Mercury retrograde does bring people from the past, situations from the past. Let's take the reading, Two of Wands. Two of Wands um, for me is walking through a new doorway. It is trying to find your balance, but many times I do see with a wand behind him, there is a choice that you are making. Okay, Two of Wands does speak of Sagittarian energy for me. So this is, uh, you are going for what you desire, what you need, you're taking action on it. Now you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo or Aries, we also have the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is a celebration. This is like walking through a new doorway, celebrating uh, love. This could also be that you may be, for those of you that are single, meeting someone whilst out and about with drinks, maybe even where you've travelled to. You could have uh, travelled to some destination where you're having a wonderful time. You could be meeting someone that could be from a foreign culture, okay? We've also got the Nine of Pentacles. This is the card of Virgo for me, okay? So some of you may be on the cusp with Virgo. Nine of Pentacles is someone that's quite independent. Financially, they're pretty well off. And it does say that with this card, Nine of Pentacles, it's someone that can stand strong financially. And uh, I would say this is more than likely your energy. And also... Um, it's someone that's quite independent, so not someone that would be ready to move into a commitment very quickly. They're so used to this Nine of Pentacles uh, character here. She's so used to being on her own and uh, standing alone, nevertheless. For others of you, maybe what you may be wanting to change this. If you've been on your own for a while, you're getting out and about, so there is more chance of you know being around others this could be a new chapter that you are moving into okay and we've got the queen of swords which is your card queen of swords is someone who stands by their word this is someone who's very truthful she is holding the ace of swords which is all about you know she's standing strong with her convictions she's someone who may have gone through her own turmoil own um, issues in the past and therefore she's very much about truth okay so let's take a few more cards let's take a mirror's love oracle and the oracle cards uh, I take one only just looking at your love life these are quick readings okay not like my usual long readings a lot of people like quick readings they don't have the time to watch those hour-long readings so this is just I'm reading the general energies. This will give you an idea. So, again, you may be also um, meeting a Virgo, okay, because the Nine of Pentacles is a Virgo for me. Um, also, it could be any other earth sign, okay. You'd meet, you could be meeting someone that's quite independent. Let's see what fell out. And we've got passion, and passion is... A card of very strong sexual connection okay this is this could also be a passionate relationship as I said with the two of wands you're leaving that ace of wands behind you're moving into a new ace of wands which could be um, let's say that some of you may be closed off emotionally you're more interested in an intimate relationship at this time not everyone is ready to settle down, okay? So it could be anything like that. What's beneath the Queen of Swords? We've got the Four of Wands, and Four of Wands is the card of marriage, the card of celebration. Um, 
it is getting stable within something. But, you know, just beneath the Queen of Swords, it, we go back to the past. So some of you may have freshly come out of a marriage, a committed partnership or relationship, and you may just be looking for uh, some fun. Now, others of you may be, uh, you may have been dealing with another air sign, okay? Maybe this is just communicating about what, um, what you think of stability, what is stability for you. You may not be accepting anything less than um, security, which is the Four of Wands, and this is what you may be uh, communicating. Okay, so let's take some Lenormand. Lenormand cards are different cards. They do paint another picture, so... Okay, some of you may be passionate about um, maybe even traveling at this time and you may be just, you know, wanting to have a good time and you're very passionate about that. You may not be looking into love but more of a physical connection only. Let's take for Libra, please, Spirit. Libra, and we've got the mountain which is uh, 21, and 21 is the world card number. 21 could be that you've come out of a karmic cycle, you've ended something, and now you're on the precipice of starting something new. You're wanting to go on an adventure, have a good time, and you're financially stable. Let's see what else. We've got the ring. That's very interesting. Okay, the ring could be a commitment and the ring can also be um, marriage, engagement, or the promise of that. Again, this speaking your truth, you know, the she does hold that Ace of Swords, which is usually the Ace of Swords can be called the card of clarity, but also a successful new beginning, okay? And some of you may just be looking for a lot of passion within a relationship, maybe a promise, the promise of that, is for the future and just now you're more into you want independence within uh, a relationship maybe even this could be something that your partner is after your partner wants and you're not ready for it could go anyway page of cups is an offer the offer of love coming through some of you may have had someone ask you to marry them, to commit to them, but you are not ready for a commitment here. That's what I see. Now, you, some of you may be still dealing with a past marriage, still trying to get out of the woods, and therefore, obviously, you're not after commitment. Okay, that's for some of you. Let's see what else we've got for Libra. And we've got the compass, and the compass is usually... We're trying to find our direction, okay? And the compass is also navigating, navigating a situation. You may be just uh, doing your homework, um, and that means uh, looking at people more closely before you can commit, dear Libra, because of past hurts, okay, past situations. All right, let's take some more cards. Let's take some more tarot. Okay, now two of wands, which is Sagittarian energy. Sag is all about beliefs, it's having a wider vision of the world. Some of you don't want to settle down and therefore, as I said, you're going only for what you desire at this time and that's just going out and having a good time. Uh, others of you may be dealing with someone that's not ready for commitment. That's what I see. Let's take this two of wands. And we've got the seven of wands. So that's two and seven. That's the nine of wands. As I said, some of you may have uh, put up a wall, not ready to take the risk um, of getting hurt. Now, some of you with the seven of wands, this could also be a persistent energy, a persistent, like you this you're up against a situation where you're fighting for what you what you desire. Maybe there are naysayers, could be family, could be friends that are telling you to maybe even 
you know, take the risk and move into a commitment, but you're still navigating your life. And I feel that this is uh, all about, because we've got the the sign of Leo there, and Leo is all about the heart. Some of you are seriously looking for true love, and you're not going to commit easily. You need the proof. Let's say the proof is in the pudding. You need the clarity before you commit to anyone. Okay, let's look at that Three of Cups, and we've got the Devil. And the Devil is very much like the Passion card. The Devil is Saturnian, and Saturn is Karma. It's also about timing. Now, the devil can also speak of restrictions. We could be talking about going out and having an amazing time, maybe having too much to drink, maybe celebrating and partying too much. Okay, that's the devil. The devil energy can also speak of fears, the fears of a third-party situation. Some of you may be fearing that your partner, the partner you are with, is not uh, truthful with you. And therefore, you may be looking for the truth with that sword that you are holding, dear Libra. Let's look at that Nine of Pentacles. And we've got the Ten of Wands. And Ten of Wands is the end of a burden, getting to the end of something that's been quite burdensome for you. This could be a cycle that is ending. For those of you that have been alone, on your own, maybe because of fear with the devil here, um, and maybe because of obligations to whatever you've been dealing with in the past, and that could have been um, a connection of the past, or maybe even maybe even anything to do with drugs, uh, drugs, medicines, alcoholism. You may be getting to the end of your burden, where there is a cycle ending here. Ten of Wands turns into the Ace. Some of you may have been very independent. You've been trying to um, to secure your future and you've been working really hard and maybe you got to a point of, yes, you're seeing the rewards of your hard work, okay, and you've worked with a lot of passion, with a lot of strategy and now you're just wanting to uh, look at other things in your life. You're passionate about maybe a strong connection, again, could be someone that's at a distance. Let me take a card on the compass here. What's that all about? Because this is all about navigating and seeing your path forward. And we've got the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is all about stability. Fours are all about a home, family, security. And the Four of Cups, again, some of you feel lost. You're lost in the past. You're not seeing that there is that Ace of Cups behind you or because you may be leaving someone behind, someone that was wanting to secure a future with you, but you've ex you've preferred to go on what you want to do, what is your passion and that's travelling. So someone could be left behind and that could be a water sign. We've got the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups and I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't the energy of Cancer. Um, cancer is, we've got Capricorn here, so opposite uh, Capricorn is the sign of Cancer. We've got the North and South nodes in Cancer and Capricorn. Okay, and that's why I said Cancer. Could be any other water sign, of course. Let's just take one more card on this Four of Cups. One more card. And we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is a card of worry, sleepless nights, fearing the worst. Could mean you be you could be dealing with someone that is has got strong water and air in their chart. Might might be an Aquarian because Saturn rules Aquarius as well. Um, and they could be worried sick that you are not accepting this cup. Some of you could be in a passionate relationship where there is no emotion and you're worried sick that this person you're dealing with is only about their desires, only, only want a sexual relationship. They just want to party and that's not uh, what you're looking for. That's for, for others of you. Let's look at the Queen of Swords, which is the general energy.
Queen of Swords, and we've got the Four of Pentacles. Yes, so someone is holding back on a situation. Someone is not being open and truthful um, about what they what is important to them, what they find, what they're wanting to accomplish, what they need. Um, so I feel as though here we've got a conversation where one person is very open and the other person is not. But this person here, which is holding back, and this is Taurian energy for me, the Taurus card, this person is holding a key. So I think that your intelligence, your um, harmonious uh, side, your democratic side, and your way with words, dear Libra, you may be able to unlock this person and what they're holding from you, what they're keeping from you. Now, this could also speak of that you, dear Libra, you've been holding on to someone uh, very near and dear to your heart, wanting more than maybe just a sexual um, connection. And this sword is saying that there will be, the conversation will be happening just be careful, be careful that you don't uh, miscommunicate with Mercury turning retrograde. We've got the Nine of Swords and the Tenth Sword here, which is all about truth. This is the end of suffering, I would say, more than likely. Communication is very important for you at this time, dear Libra, okay? And what you feel is very important uh, in your life and what you need, okay? So let's take, I'm going to take a handwritten card and I'm going to take one message, just one for you. Now, if you are dealing with another air sign, and I did mention Aquarius, if you are dealing with an Aquarian, then this would be the, the message from them to you. Now, all the other signs that have been mentioned I don't want to re-mention again. Just take the message as it resonates for you. We do have Capricorn here. I did mention Taurus as well for Earth and Virgo. Um, Cancer, sorry, was also mentioned. Let's. It could be Sun, Moon or Rising, all those signs. Let's take one message for you, dear Libra. And we have one day we may meet again somewhere in time. And this is the Nine of Pentacles. So whatever you are dealing with, it's not the time to, um, it's not the time now to partner up and uh, commit right now. For some of you, there is promise here or there is someone trying to come in for a committed connection but I feel that one party is quite independent. So therefore, this is saying one day, somewhere in time. Okay. So this could also be a one-off uh, connection, one, one night stand. For those of you that are single, this could be a one night stand. And it could be, be careful you don't get hurt. Okay. Because it looks as though some the person that you're dealing with, it's not the right time for them they're still um, looking, searching, okay? All right, dear Libra, I think I will leave it at that. Thank you so much. I'm wishing you well. Talk to you very soon.